So, so lovely to have you here with us at the London Film Festival. Just kick us off with a brief intro to this film. Um, what can audiences expect when they watch Pretty Red Dress? Um, so yeah, Pretty Red Dress is a lot of different things. Primarily it's about a black man who um, has been hiding the fact that he's a cross-dresser, but it's also a kind of musical, a family drama, a story about love and sort of escaping the boxes that we put ourselves in. Uh, it's a lot of things and I, hopefully the audience will just have a really good time. It's got a lot of music in it, it's got a lot of drama. Um, yeah, and hopefully the story unfolds and makes people really excited. Of course, it's your feature debut, but you've worked on other films before. So how did you land on this story? What was the initial germ of the idea? And I love the fact that it kind of on the face of it, it's quite sort of a, crown, a, a grounded, realistic family drama. But then there's kind of, you know, this vision of this this red dress that, that, that pulls it all together. Well, it's been a really long journey. Um, we started on this film in 2014. It was like a long development process. And yeah, I, I started out with the character and I just wanted to make a story that was very character driven but also sort of played really well to an audience so i guess yeah it was kind of a, a long process of piecing those two things together and making something that was like expansive but also very intimate as well putting together this incredible cast i mean alexandra burke we've yeah. spoken spoke about before you know there's some parallels there with, with her own kind of journey um into stardom working on the stage but obviously a very different character we maybe haven't seen her on screen like that before um but then also casting your other characters so how did you put all these people together uh yeah so alexandra was someone we thought of immediately um she at the time before pre sort of covid we were like looking for um someone like alexandra and we we asked and she wasn't around at the time and then she sort of circled back when we were looking again and yeah she's just absolutely amazing she you know her obviously her history on X Factor, the fact that she's a huge star. Yeah, she just was absolutely perfect for the character and she has this incredible energy and also as an actress, like a fearlessness that, you know, was needed for the character as well. So she, there's a lot of parallels, as you say. Um, and yeah, I couldn't be happier to have her. And Travis, not an easy character to cast, um, but you, you definitely found your right guy. Definitely, yeah. Again, like someone who was, we needed was who was really brave and someone who could kind of cross between the sort of masculine and the feminine as well and be comfortable doing that. And someone who was sort of had a very incredible sensitivity. And Nati has all of those things in one, and also a kind of brilliance and uh, mysteriousness to him that I think is really going to shine on screen. So yeah, couldn't be happier. And other elements of the film that really stand out, you know, how you've captured London and, and also Tina Turner. I mean, you've got to love Turner, Tina Turner and how her music runs through uh, the film. Yes, Tina Turner is a huge influence. She's a big influence on the design of the red dress. The, you know, she's a, a symbol of sexuality, feminine power, um, empowerment. Obviously, her story, her journey is everything you could want. So I think the fact that we could use her music and put her in the film as someone who one of the characters is aspiring to was absolutely brilliant. And yeah, I'm just happy that she allowed us to use her music in the film as well. What do you hope that people take away? I mean, just to pull out some of the themes, you know, the idea of masculinity, particularly black masculinity, but then also in a more universal way, how, you know, you start off with the, these characters in this family unit and then you slowly kind of overturn the stereotypes that we have associated with those. And, and maybe in there, you know, I mean, we should, none of us should feel boxed in. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think, I yeah, I think that one of the aims is just for audience to think about how we sort of have to present ourselves what are the rules that we have um how do we feel like we have to behave and i think most of us understand that we're not actually we're all a bit weird and i think i was exploring the weirdness in everybody um and i'm just really excited it's about sort of overturning those boxes and kind of celebrating the weirdness as well and you know weirdness isn't even the right word word for it. i think most people have these elements in them as well so yeah i'm just yeah really excited and do you think that we're seeing enough diverse representation on screen and perhaps breaking down particularly for black men the characters that we see time and time again and we need to see something a bit different and films like this are kind of starting that on that road. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I, I was really inspired by a lot of the sort of black British cinema that has come out before this, where it's sort of often, you know, quite urban crime dramas with a black man in the centre and he's sort of trying to over t sort of get, get away from his gang life. And in, in many ways, I was very inspired by that. But yeah, it's something that people kind of see as a little bit of a stereotype in cinema today. I don't think it's necessarily a stereotype, but at the same time, I think I just wanted to 
take my version of whatever that was and I guess for me as a writer like I was just looking at the things that I was interested in and so I took inspiration from those films like Bullet Boy and Kid Hood and uh, Top Boy and I wanted to create a character in, in British cinema that you think you've seen before and you, you sort of have certain, expe certain expectations with and just sort of overturn that a little bit but they were inspiration but it's also exciting that we can show a new version of that as well. There's no better place to show this film than London Film Festival being set, set in London. Yeah. yeah I mean LFF it's uh, we premiered our, our short film We Love Moses here and I think We Love Moses has a good tie to this film in a way it explores similar themes of sexuality and sort of you know alienation and things like that um, so we couldn't be happier it's our home festival and also you know London's really important to the film as well so we're just really excited to be here we've got loads of friends here and it just feels like yeah the, the app is that it's an absolute dream so yeah well really enjoy the evening thanks so much for sharing that with us so have so much fun cheers